After a mention of cooking videos, I decided that I would uh, take part in this and do my own. So I've gone for a Cambodian dish, arguably their national one, called Lok Lak, which is made from beef. Very tasty, it's healthy, and it's very, very simple. Also, a slight bit of cheating. Chopped garlic from the freezer, and ginger. Because they tend to go off sitting at home otherwise, because I use them so infrequently. Can't really go into work stinking of garlic. Right, so the marinade. I've got three blocks of ginger, that's about 50 grams. A couple of small chilies, I've taken the stalks off obviously. Got two, table, two tablespoons of um, palm sugar, which I've had to smash up with a hammer because it had gone a bit hard. And I've got two tablespoons of garlic, so they're going to go in as well. I'll do it a bit tidier in a minute, but for an idea that, that'll do. Okay, we want about mm, two teaspoons of cracked black pepper. This is for the marinade, remember? So I've got something like ooh, 70 or 80 turns in there now, because I've already done something at the lid beforehand for speed, that's why it's all gone everywhere. Okay, soy sauce. I want six tablespoons of this. You want the dark soy, not light soy. It's got to be really pungent, really rich. Fish sauce. Ugh, stuff stinks. Right, two tablespoons of this. This you find all over Southeast Asia as, as kind of one of the main ingredients. I already planned it wrong, so uh, going for a larger cup on the processor. So, four tablespoons of ketchup. So that's two. And I want a similar amount. I want a similar amount of oyster sauce as well. This has been a bit tricky to get out, so hopefully I've broken enough of a seal. Really important, lime. This is something that's very common in Cambodian cookery. Quick handy tip, if you want to maximise the amount of juice you get out of any citrus fruit, you roll it and squeeze it and push it a bit. Okay. Quick half it. And uh, juice it. So we want one lime's worth. Okay. Okay, the marinade's made. There's absolutely loads in here. And then a quick taste. Mmm. That's really strong. Whoa. <coughs> Quite a kick. With the meat, okay, the problem I've got here was all the fat. So I've got to cut that out because you want to go for lean beef on this. Okay. Okay, so cut out all the fatty bits, sinewy bits. What you're wanting is nice lean pieces. Okay, and you want to slice it quite thinly and sort of a bit flat. Okay, I'm using top rump on here, which is a, a, a roasting joint. You know, top rump or silver side, top side, something like that is ideal for this. You can use sirloin, rump or fillet if you really want to, but, you know, to be honest, it's not necessary. Slice this nice and thin, okay. Right, look at that, that's... That's kind of what you're looking for, up to about that thickness. Okay. Right, so here's my lovely pile of beef. All slashed up, cut up, torn, ripped, nice and small, nice and thin. So it's going to go into the marinade. That needs to sit there at least 20 minutes. Okay, I will leave it for considerably more. Oh, it's a lovely thick marinade, it's a lovely thick sauce. Get it all mushed up and in there and really get it coated. Very important, the dipping sauce. Cracked pepper, loads of, and lime juice. Just get it all out there. These little wooden um, juices are very, very good, very efficient. But they do make a bit of a mess. Get a quick stir with that. 
I'm only cooking for myself, so I'm not worried about quarantine. Let's have a taste of that. It's good. Just needs to develop a bit. Give it half an hour, and that'll be gorgeous. We'll infuse. Another key part of this recipe is chopped peanuts. This is a very important vegetable and source of protein in Cambodia, so it features heavily amongst their dishes. So just normal, cheap peanuts. These ones are salted. You can wash the salt off if you want. I tend to keep it because I'm quite a fan of salt. So just keep doing that until you've got enough, basically. Right, I'm ready to roll. Traditionally, it's served with sliced tomato, thinly sliced and shredded up onion, wrapped in a lettuce leaf, which is then dipped into the lime and pepper sauce. And you also sprinkle on a few chopped up peanuts. So this is how the beef is looking at the moment. There's the wok. You want to wok for this because obviously you've got to keep tossing it around and that. Right, once your pan is really nicely hot, nicely oiled up, you want to use vegetable oil, not, not olive oil because that burn. Pop your beef in. Start whizzing it around. Oh, that smells really good. Ideally you do it in batches, okay? I'm only doing the first batch because I'm not particularly hungry right now. That's awesome. You can only see it, you can't smell it. And that, I'm afraid, is how it's going to be unless you make your own, which I really recommend. Down a piece. <laughs> Spot on. So, now that it's ready, just transfer it to a serving plate. Right, now it's done. Get a little bit of beef, stick it in there. A bit of tomato. Some peanuts. A little bit of onion. Okay, this is the way the Khmer's heat it. Get your dipping sauce. Then you want to roll it all up. Nice tidy little package, ideally. It is quite messy. Dip it in. Mmm. And savour it. Alternatively, you can sprinkle it all on, mix it all up on the plate. Shred up a bit of uh, lettuce. Bring a little, little um, with dip on. Eat it like that. And try and get a bit of everything on, which might not be easy. Get in there. It's really tasty.